Viral sa social media ang performance sa Indonesian band na Seventeen sa kalagitnaan ng performance sa beach. Inanod sila ng tsunami sa Sunda Strait, Indonesia noong Sabado. Sa kanyang Instagram account, sinabi ng lead singer na patay ang band manager at bass player habang nawawala ang iba pang miyembro ng banda at asawa ng lead singer. May dalawang dang empleyado ng State Electric Company na PLN ang nag year and party sa Tanjung Lisong Beach nung magkasakuna. Dalawang putsyam na empleyado at kapamilya ang patay habang labintatlo ang nawawala. Umakyat na ng 280 ang bilang na namatay sa tsunami na bunga ng pagsabog ng anak Krakatau Volcano na pumutok at nagpakawala ng lava. Earthquake, tsunami, and Earth's interior. At the end of this video, you should be able to demonstrate how underwater earthquakes generate tsunamis. Explain how earthquake waves provide information about the interior of the Earth. But first, let's answer these questions. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number 1. What does the word, tsunami, mean in Japanese? A. Tidal wave B. Century wave C. Harbor wave D. Killer wave The answer is C. Harbor wave Number 2. What is frequently a warning sign of an impending tsunami? A. Seawater suddenly retreats from the shore. B. Winds suddenly change direction. C. The sky suddenly clears. D. All of the above. The answer is A. Seawater suddenly retreats from the shore. Number 3. Which of the subsequent is true about tsunamis? A. It's associated with tides. B. It's a large moving ridge. C. It's because of the upward movement of rock at the seafloor. D. It's because of the upward movement of rock ashore. The answer is C. It's because of the upward movement of rock at the seafloor. Number 4. Which attributes to the vibrations created by an earthquake? A. Sea surface waves. B. Pressure waves. C. Seismic waves. D. Tidal waves. The answer is C. Seismic waves. Number 5. Which of the following sequences correctly lists the different arrivals from first to last? A. P waves, S waves, surface waves, B. Surface waves, P waves, S waves, C. P waves, surface waves, S waves, D. S waves, P waves, surface waves. The answer is A. P waves, S waves, surface waves. Did you get a correct answer? If yes, good job! Su, na, mi, tsunami. A Japanese word from a double root, su, meaning port or harbor, and nami, meaning wave. A tsunami is a series of waves in a water body caused by the displacement of a large volume of water, generally, in an ocean, or a large lake. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and other underwater explosions, above or below water, all have the potential, to generate a tsunami. According to Tsunami and Earthquake Philippines, 
Tsunami and earthquakes can happen anytime around the Pacific Ring of Fire, from California up and around Alaska down through Japan, Taiwan, the Philippines and Indonesia. The Philippines is no stranger to earthquakes. Tsunami in the Philippines are extremely rare. The last measurable tsunami in the Philippines affected the northern and the eastern seaboards on the 11th of March 2011. Prior to March 2011, the last recorded tsunami in the Philippines, that actually caused loss of life, occurred in the Verde Island Passage between Batangas and Mindoro Island, affecting Puerto Galera in the early morning of 15 November 1994, originating from a 7.1 magnitude earthquake, according to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. Together, let's explore and learn about tsunami, and how it is generated. After performing this activity, you should be able to 1. Explain how tsunamis are generated, and 2. Infer why tsunamis do not always occur even when there is an earthquake. Materials needed. Flat basin or laundry tub. Water rectangular piece of plastic panel or plywood rock procedure 1. put water in the container place the rock in the water at one end of the container 2. at the other end of the container put the plastic panel flat at the bottom of the container 3. You will need some help. A person to watch the surface of the water, and another to watch the level of water by the rock. Things will happen quickly, so make sure your assistants are alert. 4. Hold the corners of the plastic panel with your thumbs and fingertips. Wait for the water to stop moving. Using only your fingertips, jerk the edge of the plastic board upward. 1. What was formed in the water by the sudden push of the plastic panel? A wave was formed by the sudden push. 2. How was the water level by the rock affected by the wave? The water level went up. 3. What does the water represent? How about the rock? The water represents the sea. The rock represents land. 4. What does the plastic panel represent? The plastic panel represents the rocks that suddenly move along an underwater fault. Faults are found not only on land but also under the sea. When a fault at the bottom of the sea suddenly moves, the water above it can be affected. A sudden push from an underwater fault can produce a wave called a tsunami. Unlike a wave that is formed by the wind, a tsunami is so much more powerful. Wind waves are just sea surface waves. In comparison, a tsunami involves the whole depth of the sea, from the sea floor to the surface. Far from the shore, a tsunami is low, maybe just a meter high, but it travels at the speed of a jet plane. When the tsunami reaches the shore, it slows down, but, it grows in height. A tsunami is very destructive, because the force of the whole ocean is behind it. This is the reason why, whole towns, and cities are totally devastated, after a tsunami attack. So, how are earthquakes, related to tsunamis? When a fault suddenly moves on land, you get an earthquake. But if a fault suddenly moves, in, or near a body of water, you may get a tsunami in addition to the earthquake. Thus, when you are near the sea, and you feel a strong earthquake, treat that as a warning signal. Run, to the highest place you can find. Or, if you have a vehicle, evacuate inland. Not every fault movement beneath the sea will produce a tsunami. Those faults that move in a horizontal direction or sideways will not result in a tsunami. The fault has to move in the vertical sense. 
In the activity, a sudden upward push triggered the wave. Now, let us explore how earthquake waves provide information about the interior of the Earth. Earthquakes and Seismic Waves Seismic waves are the waves of energy caused by the sudden breaking of rock within the Earth or an explosion. They are the energy that travels through the Earth and is recorded on seismographs. Seismic waves radiate from the focus of an earthquake. Seismic waves emanating from the focus can travel in several ways, and thus there are several different kinds of seismic waves. There are three basic types of seismic waves. P waves, S waves, and surface waves. P waves and S waves are sometimes collectively called body waves. P waves, also known as primary waves or pressure waves, travel at the greatest velocity through the Earth. Because of their speed, they are the first waves to be recorded by a seismograph during an earthquake. S waves, also known as secondary waves, shear waves, or shaking waves, are transverse waves that travel slower than P waves. Surface waves, are similar in nature to water waves and travel just under the Earth's surface. They are typically generated when the source of the earthquake is close to the Earth's surface. Although surface waves travel more slowly than S waves, they can be much larger in amplitude and can be the most destructive type of seismic wave. What can seismic waves tell us? Studies of the different types of seismic waves can tell us much about the nature of the Earth's structure. When P waves hit a liquid or partially liquid layer, they bend. When P waves reach the solid layer, they bend again. After numerous earthquakes, seismologists were able to use the pattern of P waves reaching the surface to see into the Earth. As seismic waves move through the body of the Earth, they perform in diverse forms, depending on whatever they encounter along the way. Comparatively, seismic waves move more inward into the crust, they speed up. This suggests that at the bottom the rocks are denser. In the uppermost part of the mantle, the waves decrease down. That means the rocks there are partly melted. As the waves enter the core, one variety of seismic waves, S waves, disappears. That suggests, that the outer core is liquid. At particular depths, the waves are reflected, and refracted. That means, the Earth must exist layered. We often think of earthquakes as something harmful and the reason is obvious. But earthquakes help scientists figure out what is inside the Earth. Summary Earthquakes produce tsunami. If a fault suddenly moves on ground, you get an earthquake. However, if a fault suddenly moves in or near a body of water, you may get a tsunami in addition to the earthquake. Moreover, earthquake waves give data about the interior of the Earth through term seismic waves. Seismic waves move within the body of the Earth. At specific depths, the waves are reflected and refracted. That indicates the Earth must be layered. Now, let us check your understanding tell whether the statement is true or false. Are you ready? One, P waves and S waves are also known as body waves. The answer is true. Two, the three basic types of seismic waves are P waves, S waves, and tidal waves. The answer is false. The three basic types of seismic waves are P waves, S waves, and surface waves. 3. Seismic waves move outside the body of the Earth. The answer is false. 
Seismic waves move within the body of the Earth. 4. When the tsunami reaches the shore, it slows down but it grows in height. The answer is true. 5. If a fault suddenly moves in or near a body of water, you may get a tsunami in addition to the earthquake. The answer is true. That's it. You may watch the video again if it still confuse you. Thank you for watching.